seriously, you can't just hammer the same spot over and over again and expect something to you know to be fixed from that. Oh, yeah, this, guy, this guy back here. here. I can say their technique is rather flawed. They're never gonna get this place rebuilt. Yeah. Although it's surprising how much they've already rebuilt. Although I guess maybe it was just not destroyed. <laughs> so, you guys oh, let's not go this way. Blitzball match. See, this is why you guys are a terrible blitzball team. You just sit there like trying to repair structures instead of practicing. Right. But like five guys, you know, working away for the evening is not really going to put much of a dent in this mess. So Yuna's going to perform the sending here. I'm not even going to talk over this. Uh, I'm just going to put a prompt on the screen that says. If you don't care about the sending, skip uh, to this next part. Otherwise, if you want to watch <laughs> the sending, it's kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, if you want to watch the sending, if you forget what the sending was, it's where Yuna or whoever uh, takes all the souls of dead people and sends them to the far plane so they don't become fiends and haunt the living. Basically. That old lady's just agreeing real hard. Yeah. With their own death, mm -hmm. they refuse mm -hmm. to face their fate. They yearn to live on, and resent those still alive. Those pants, though. I know. <laughs> you see, they envy the living. Yeah, Lulu's doing a pretty good job of explaining it. I feel like I'm always explaining stuff. Hate. But and then the characters just explain it, like, why anger. am I even bothering? Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to the dark side. Suffering. Suffering. Leads to suffering. Suffering. Leads to the dark side. Always the dark side. Epic. Isn't it? The Always the dark side. Them to the far plane. I could even a burrito leads to the goddamn peace. dark side. Do this? <laughs> 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 You're a taco joint in the dark side. People always talk about burritos after they, after like all the burrito places have closed. Eat you guys. That's actually a really good idea for a restaurant. Call it the dark side. You'd probably be sued by. Oh, that. I thought you were gonna say the burrito place. <laughs> oh, no. I would be like, Although, I mean, that's okay, I fair, guess. In Austin, there is a taco joint, and it's amazing. Yep. It's called the taco joint. Called the yep. taco joint. It's really it, fucking. There's good. a place near me it called Salsa be. and Beer. You can't and go it's wrong awesome. there. Straight to it. Straight to it. Exactly. Called, just don't they're beat they're around the bush. The fiery Tell people exactly what you have. Yeah, exactly. And that restaurant kicks ass. So. There's nothing right. This is, this is one thing that was never really explained either: is the, how you know, I can just walk on water. Oh yeah, just <laughs> magically floating. Well, she's Question she's kind of magical, so I guess yeah. I can accept that. It makes but. sense when she's dancing around on like the big thing of water you see, like in the the title card. Uh, image of the the Final Fantasy logo, right? But see, those are all the the fireflies going to the far plane. Hey, Pop, Meg Ryan. I remember this being the, like, this was the one CGI from the game that was like, holy shit, like this, back when this was next gen. Right. Like, this was just, like, absolutely stunning. Even, it still holds up really well. It still holds up magnificently well to this day. Like, it still looks phenomenal. And I don't, I don't know, I don't think they really touched anything with the remaster. I don't, I don't think you really could. Yeah. Like, for, like, CGI. You'd have to completely redo the entire thing. If you wanted to touch it. I mean, that's one thing mm. Square has always been able to pull off is just amazing CGI. Look at the Spirits Within tough. movie. The terrible Summer. movie. It looked Yuna pretty though. Yeah, it looked really she good. Knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way. Until a, the end. A lot of necklaces. A lot of merchandising. Yeah, why does she have three necklaces? <laughs> you know, why, and though. why is it glued yeah, to her skin? Titus. Titus has got his special like necklace you buy from Square Enix online store, probably. And Yuna's got like, I have hers. It. I have that necklace. 
You got Lulu's stuff, and Waka's got his own custom cosplay. I was gonna say, you cosplayed, it makes sense. I hope. I hope I did okay. I needed it for the cosplay. <laughs> and I saw it somewhere. I don't remember. I don't think I even bought it. No, maybe I did buy it online. I don't know. I was just I was just looking around for it. And I think I managed to see it on eBay. I wish For like five bucks. I was like, uh, yeah. I'll take that. Thanks. I did get my costume way too small, though. Like, it could have gone up like a couple of sizes. That thing was skin tight. It was strange. It was, it was like skin tight because i gave them <laughs> literally exact measurements like i didn't give myself any sort of wiggle room so i put those on there was no room like you are not even sticking a finger in between my hip and those pants it's just not happening i thought you were gonna say butt cheeks for a second <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this kind of fake leather as well so it was just so did you wear ridiculously them ridiculously hot yeah of course i wore it i wore the adventure for three days I bet you were ridiculously yeah. hot <laughs> hey now <laughs> And yeah. I also wore it Sexy part pants. one. Me and all my friends also wore all of our costumes to a Sonics about 200 oh. miles away from the convention. So it just didn't oh, even make sense. Nice. We just oh like, because we God. drove down from Long Island to, to Baltimore. And where we are, there is no Sonics. And we really wanted to go to Sonics. So we drove to Sonics, but it didn't make sense because we were back in New York City, not Baltimore. So we just looked like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> but we looked like a bunch of idiots with really good food. And that's what matters. Exactly. So we're just going to wander around Killika now, kind of talk with some people and, you know, uh, talk yep, with everything's the... in shambles. Got it. You got to talk with that one Save kid. This kid. He's got the best, like, hopes and dreams of them all. He's oh, in, right. He's in, yes. like, one of, the, one of the shacks. We cannot miss that. <laughs> so this kid is just... Just sit. How long was that sitting there? How long do you think the kid was sitting there? You know the worst part is, if this was if this game was made today, that would have been a quick time event. Hmm. Like here is well, just would, a cutscene, but would you nowadays, rather it good. be a quick time event or would you rather it not? I'd rather it not because that's just so obvious of a like. It would feel so forced if they had thrown like in a quick time event there. Like, press X to save child. No. <laughs> Here we go. Press X because you don't like children. I'm gonna be a I'm blitz gonna be ball. a blitz ball when I grow up. <laughs> not a blitz ball player. He's gonna be not a, a commentator. Blitz ball. A blitz ball. <laughs> Thank you Reaching very much, rainbow, child. Kid. Moving on. <laughs> you know what? It's good to like go for obtainable dreams. Like, don't reach for the stars yeah. with your dreams, kids. <laughs> Just try to aim for something. <laughs> Like, just go, go attainable. for realism. And now we get the first, one of the first, uh, like, if you go back and look at that woman there, like, that's not each colored, uh, if, like, if you that talk a... to her, like, that's skin. That's all skin. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, like, is that's... that a flesh or dress, or what's going on here? No, that's, that's how they dress, though, so just here in Spear. have the sleeves, Dang. but no chest or belly, just... <laughs> wow. Back is just completely showing. And so I say, it's very warm here. You know, you gotta keep... I <laughs> you gotta keep cool. I guess. But not on your arms. Your arms can be hot. <laughs> Waka's waiting. Oh, Waka's waiting for me. I bet the, uh... But Luna's were back at the beginning. Choice. Yes. All of a sudden, like, yeah, Lulu's clothing looks very conservative. <laughs> she must be sweating in that thing. Yeah, especially with, like, all Come the Come to fur. think of it. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay, well, eventually when you get to like the Our snow temple, level, where we pray for victory. Yeah, like, yeah, that's a little more plausible. High summoner O'Holland used to live in. The what were they doing on that boat? What were they hammering on the boat? Was once a great <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They just like work. generic, just like make them look like they're doing something. They're fixing the boat while it stands straight up. <laughs> I I get, I would be ripping that thing I, I apart. I think they're all like, like, you, like, like Captain Waka wanted us to really fix some stuff around the village. Well, do you know how to fix it? No, I don't know. How to no, fix no. I play just, sports. Just, just hammer this. Let's just hammer this board. <laughs> whenever he comes by, and <laughs> eventually we'll leave. Wounded a game matters. That's why Blitz has been around Jeez. for so long. At least that's what I think. All right, so I think uh, by saving that kid, there's a uh, Let's play. there's an item I can get if I talk to someone. And I think there's also a primer here as well. Look at the layers on top of Waka's head. That hair is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, there's a primer. Maybe that gigantic book is the primer. 
chest and then talk to you. Oh, just that. What was in that? What was in that chest? Ether. Was anyone paying it to one, ether? One ether. A prized possession. Yeah. Of an ether. Well, yeah, it's not a very good village. All right, lady, calm down. All right, so we have some stuff that we can buy, Cat some seeker course. stuff for five percent more health. Um, I guess Lulu can always use more health. But we do kind of want to save you our deal. Also give her the uh, the cactor scope possibly because then you get um, sensor. I'm a magic. Oh, sensor is very good. Yeah. Oh, uh, we might be able to give it to someone else. Like, oh, Yuna has bosses. rod of wisdom. Let me equip that. Yeah. Plus eight percent magic. Nothing for you. Uh, Kamari's comes with sensor on his stuff, but nobody you don't ever want to put him in the party. Right. Useless Kamari. Brother. Brotherhood. Which we'll get some upgrades later on. There's a lot of slots in that. And that's because uh it gets some upgrades later on. Uh I guess we should probably level up. Yeah, let's do a quick level up. So Lulu oh. Down here, we'll move her two spots. <laughs> it's one thing of what, MP? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you finally Whoops. learn something. I can't remember. Flee. Something... Oh, yeah, that's right, flee. Yeah, so you flee allows everyone down. to escape free at run. the same time. Yeah, it's like free run without consequence. Right. Actually. But I do need to be careful with those ability spheres, otherwise I'm going to have to go farm. Because they are very rare this early in the game. And I don't know why. So, finish upgrading. Like, right here is so, so brutal. I feel like all, yeah, the, all, nulls like, all the nulls are such a whip. I'm not even going to get them right now. No. Because those things, I don't think I ever used them. It's like, ever. It's very rare use. The by the way, the null attacks basically cast a buff on your team where if you are hit by a certain uh, ability, elemental ability, it will nullify that attack one time. Yeah, it's basically you you cast null blaze or whatever. Like you cast the fire one, and you get immune to a fire attack or reduce right. damage from a fire attack, whichever it is. So, a few items hidden in the woods here, including a Lux Sphere and, I believe, a weapon for Waka. But right now, we're going to be like, yo, uh, you should come with us. Not like you haven't been doing that already, but uh, we're just going to make it official now. For BFS. He may be a Blitzball Whiz Kid, but up against Fiends, he's a newbie. Blitzball Whiz Kid. He's a newbie? I've been kicking the crap out of things, Waka. You throw a ball at things. What do you even know? <laughs> it's like, he's what was a newbie. That I gave him my dead brother's sword it's because he's a newbie. Yeah. The person like, I care about most in life. Here's his most prized possession. <laughs> By the way, you stranger I've known for a day. I shouldn't have my dead brother's sword. There's nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> I'm just not really sure what's going on. My apologies. Material possessions? Eh, not that big a deal in Spira. I guess not. That lady just gave me her ether, which was her most prized possession. I guess but I, I, guess fair, I, did, I when, saved her sister. When, when the threat of dying to sin every, like, basically every single day, you know, material possessions probably don't mean all that much anymore. I, I guess so. Oh, good. You get to learn about Kamari's terrible blue mage abilities. So, Kamari, when fighting against certain enemies, certain enemies have certain attacks that Kamari can learn. And you can learn them by using Lancet on said enemies. So, for example, I just learned Seed Cannon. And now, whenever you learn a new ability, his overdrive immediately charges, and you can use uh, from a set of those abilities. I'm not going to use it right now, it could be a complete waste. So he can learn a lot of these abilities as his overdrive. The problem is that most of the abilities are really not that good. Yeah, 
monster skills, blue mages, all that type of stuff in, in these type of games. They, a lot of the time, they're not very useful. I remember there were a couple ones in 7 that you could get that were actually pretty good. But the fact that they're relegated to his overdrive only makes it just such a waste of time. Right. Because it's you're it's so rare that you'll ever get to use them because you gotta wait for his overdrive to charge up. Getting ambushed means the enemy gets first attack. I hope that was pretty obvious. Black you. B You are definitely no Quistus. I could take care of those alone, huh? Quistus Smack that good blue mage. Dink. Nice overkill. Overkill just gets you some more experience. Pretty nice to kill things with overkill. It might also get you some more items as well at the end. Like instead of two speed spheres, I think I got I got three. I'm not sure if that's a true thing. I might just be making stuff up. But it sounded right in my head, so we're gonna go with it. As long as you sound convincing, people will believe you. Yep. So that thing in the background you might be seeing is a uh, Lord Ochu. Uh, Lord of the Wood? King of the Wood? Something like that. Mm. He loves wood, Ambushed. is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save our overdrive. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go right back to that sphere. <laughs> just use I just got him. pelted on. I, would, I want Let's some experience, though. Run away! Please don't kill me. Miss. Okay, good. Lulu has very, very, very high evasion, which is kind of handy. Especially because she has very, very low it. HP. Yeah, and low defense. Should be able to kill that one. Nice. Please not. Please not Titus. Oh, thank God, miss. Right, burn an eight. Countryside and all of the peasants. That's not gonna kill. Dink. Alright, let's get Yuna in here for some quick XP. Dink. And I guess we can get Kamari in here. For the finish for the finishing blow. There you go. Yep, a lot of rotating, but a lot of levels to be earned. You don't even okay. have everybody yet. Oh, I made more than two feet that time. So we have another one of these weirdo things here. No idea what it means yet. Because we don't have you know, those it's got unlocked. Letter C in it. Yep. The fiend before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. Yes, we Lord of the Wood. Remember, discretion is oh, I guess Bud Light's not here. Oh, I'm sorry, what? I said Katie. Lord of the Wood. <laughs> Come on. That's, that's your cue, Bud Light. It's fucking too easy. You just walked away so, from that layup, dude. Yeah. What layup? So, <laughs> that's, a fucking, that's a fucking third grade layup. What do you want me to say about that? <laughs> He's like, Hello? You, like, put the ball on the ground and you gently rolled it to him. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do with this? So, we don't have to fight this guy, but we're going to anyway because there's a lot of XP. Weak to fire, so we want Lulu in the party the whole time. Unfortunately, we don't have... Uh, we do not have haste yet, so that would have been a really, really big help. What did that say? 46, 49 health? I'm not sure yeah. why it's so exact. Dark attack even do anything to him? Uh, it doesn't hurt. Uh, I mean, if you're going to attack with him anyways... Might yeah, well. let's see. Nope, immune. So, good, good dodge there. I don't think we need to absorb anything. Let's get a hit on you. Good. I should probably use his overdrive, because he's not going to sit in the party for much longer. Yeah, it's free damage. So I th I think I could have hit him with silence, but I don't hit s I don't have silence. So walk is gonna be pretty useless here. So we can hey this, and we're gonna cheer for some more energy. Now he does fall asleep at around oh boy she's poisoned. What twenty five hundred health? So we do need to use some burst damage on him. Like, you can see how weak that attack was. Yeah, was I think Jump pretty, would have probably pretty got yeah, a lot more damage. Yeah, maybe. Alright, so we're just gonna use our, all of our overdrives there. Nice, got on the first one. Some uh, scrub. Bam. Good damage. So. Alright, good. 
Kamari's getting out of the picture, so we don't really need him in the party, which means we want him to take all of the damage. And let's get Yuna in here. Do you have a Suna yet? Uh, no. So we're going to get in Valifor here. And Valifor has fire, and we're very, very close Hit to our bird. overdrive. You're never going to be able to unsee those now. Yep. <laughs> so we're just going to spam Sonic yep. Wings for as many attacks as we can. Just to get in as much free damage as possible. And now we will go to Overdrive. Because after we hit him, he should fall asleep and start regenerating health, which means we're not going to take any damage. <laughs> well, that wow. does some pretty good work. Yeah, let's one more time so now me. he's asleep, but now he's going to... What? <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of health regen. That is yeah, way more that than I thought. Basically everything that your Aeon did. Yeah. But should be waking him up soon. We're just gonna spam fire on him while we can. Did everyone got an attack, right? Everyone did something? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's only have the five party members now. So now we're gonna do some Sonic Wing spam. The nice thing about Aeons is that they're immune to status effects, so we can't be poisoned. Uh, Earthquake, I don't think he's gonna... Is that gonna do anything? It shouldn't. Yeah, no. You're in the air. Flying. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kinda convenient. Sonic Wings is not gonna get us an extra attack, so we're gonna just go for fire instead. That Probably gonna hurt. get another overdrive, too, out of it. Yeah. Sonic Wings. Overdrives and the Aeons fill up so much faster than the... Players. Oh yeah, they fill well, up ridiculously it's also handy fast. Later in the game, when you start getting alternative ways to charge your overdrives, right? Rather than just taking damage. So this should finish him off. Uh, no, it's gonna Mid be really close. close. So Valfort's probably gonna die here if this doesn't kill him, which it did not. So oh, nice immunity to poison claw, but we're gonna die here. Yeah. yeah. But that's fine, because Valfor did most of the work, which is kind of what you want. Bye, Aeon. And now we can just spawn right in. The, uh, he, boss get, might get one more attack in. Nope. And we have killed the Lord of the Wood. <laughs> the Lord of the Wood has gone flaccid. More wood for him. Everyone gets a nice XP boost. We get Dude. a Poison Sword and an MP Sphere. He might be a Lord, but I'm fucking King of Wood. Very impressive. So that MP sphere is going to be able to fill up an empty node on our sphere grid. And uh, we'll be able to use, uh, or someone will be able to get a nice MP upgrade. And we're also going to talk to this dude, because he owes us. Which you probably won't use until Which I will like, the end of the game. <laughs> absolutely will not use.